Hi everyone, this is Math 6, Lesson 8-3, Display Data in Box Plots. In this lesson, we'll be able to make and interpret box plots. Let's start with solve and discuss it. To track how many raisins are needed for packaging, a quality control inspector at a food processing plant collected data for the number of raisins in small boxes. Describe the data, including minimum value, maximum value, and median. Remember, we learned min minimum, um, maximum, med median, mean, mode, and range last lesson. We're going to use that. Then describe what you notice about the values between the minimum and the med median, between the median and maximum. So do you guys remember how to figure out the median? What is median? The median is the middle number when you list the, your data set from least to greatest, right? So let's look at our data set. Count up raisins in small boxes, 27, 29, 27, 25, 25, 27, 32, 30, 28, 32, 26, and 31, okay? We're gonna describe the data including minimum and maximum, how they figure that out, you're gonna list them from least to greatest. So uh, what is the smallest number? 25, we got two 25s. Let's start listing the numbers from least to greatest. And then we got 26. And then one, two, three 27s. And then one 28. And then 29, and then 131, mm, wait, 30, sorry, I didn't see that. And then 31, and then two 32s, okay? Um, so that's least to greatest. And how do you figure out minimum and maximum? Of course, your least number is gonna be the minimum value. And then your greatest number is going to be your maximum value. And then what's the median? You're going to count from minimum and maximum and then count it off until you get to the middle number. So it's going to be 27 and 28. So the average between 27 and 28 would be 27.5 and that is your median. Okay. And what do you notice about the values between the minimum and median and median and maximum? Minimum 25 to median 27.5 and median 27.5 to 32, are they the same distance apart? No, the upper half of the data is more spread out than the lower half of the data. So that's um, that's one observation you can make, right? So minimum is 25, the so maximum is 32, median 27.5. The upper half of the data is more spread out than the lower. Because the distance between um, 32 and 27.5, so that is going to be 4.5, right? The difference between 32 and 27.5 is 4.5, but the difference between the median and the minimum is only 2.5. So you can see that these are 2.5 apart and these are 4.5 apart. So the upper half of the data is more spread out than the lower half. Hmm, interesting, right? If it was not the median we're looking for, if we were talking about mean, then it should be equal. But for median, it's not because um, it's not always in the middle of the value. Like that, that describes the average. Okay, median is just a middle number from least to greatest. Let's look at focus on math practices on the bottom. The median of the first half of the data is 26.5, and the median of the second half of the data is 30.5. Why would this information be helpful, and what do those medians show? 
the medians from the first half. So from minimum to the original median, we can find another median for that. And that's gonna be 26.5, okay? So median for these is 26.5. And then the median for the upper part is 30.5. And so looking at that, we can also compare them with um, the median and see, oh, yeah, it's more spread out for the upper, upper part. And you can say, one way you can say that um, one thing they can show is the data broken down into four equal sections because you have minimum and maximum at the end, and then you got a median, and it's not always in the middle of the value. And then you got the lower median, and it's going to be called a special vocabulary, which is called the first quartile. And that is going to be third quartile, which is the upper median. And it breaks down into four equal sections. Okay. So, Essential question, why is a box plot useful for representing certain types of data? So it doesn't say all kinds of data. It says for certain types of data, it's useful to use a box plot. Sometimes it's not, there, there's more useful um, way, but box plots could be very useful for certain types, okay? Let's look at example one, make a box plot. Helen wants to display the lengths of 15 fish she caught this year to compare to the lengths of the fish she caught last year. How can she use the data to make a box plot? So what's a box plot? A box plot is a diagram that shows a distribution of data values using the median, the quartiles, the minimum value and the maximum value on the number line. So you need to use a number line. Okay, using this data, length of fish uh, we got seven, seven, 10, 18, and dot, dot, dot. We got a lot of data here. We're gonna find the minimum, median, and maximum by listing it, listing the data from least to greatest. Minimum is seven, maximum is 22, median is 13. So the first quartile, the median of the first half from minimum to median is going to be 10, okay? And then, and then the third quartile median of the second half would be 15. Oh, I think I counted the median here. So you can't count the median. You have to count the numbers um, not including the median, the original median. Okay, and the middle number for that, uh, the lower quartile and the um, upper quartile will be your first and third quartile. Okay, quartiles are values that divide a data set into four equal parts. And then using these values, we're gonna draw the box plot. So on the number line, you're gonna put a box plot on top of it. Okay, put a minimum value on the left and then the maximum value on the right and then put another median okay then you're gonna plot first quartile and third quartiles as well so you should have one two three four five points total labeled and then what you do is that you draw the box in the middle of your data using the three points in the middle. So you're not using the minimum and the maximum value, but you're using the first quartile, median, and the third quartile. So um, on the first quartile, you're gonna, you're gonna draw the left side of the box. Third quartile would be the right side of the box. And then the median would be just, uh, just another line in the middle and then draw a box. You should have two 
uh, two parts, two pieces of boxes making one big box. And that is your box. And then you have a whisker at the end um, reaching to your minimum value and the maximum value. That way you can see, oh, most of the data um, are gonna be distributed in the middle in this box. And then there are some minimum and maximum. Those are called the outliers. Um, if they're just one data, that's oddly out of the crowd, okay? So that's how you draw a box plot. So let's see if you can do the try question over here. The lengths and inches of 11 fish that Helen caught last year are listed below. So you're gonna circle the first quartile, median and third quartile. First, figure out this by yourself, see if you can do it, and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So what is the median? Is this already um, listed from least to greatest? Yeah, so seven should be the minimum, 22 should be the maximum, right? But you're supposed to circle the first quartile, median, and the third quartile. So you can just mark, maybe like underline. So that seven is the minimum, 22 is the max, okay? But you're gonna circle the first quartile, median, and third quartile. So counting from that, you have eight, 17, 12, 7, 12 16, 12, 15, and then, wait, 8, 17, 12, 16, 12, 15, Another 12, 14, and 13 should be your median. Okay. And then using um, using the numbers for the median uh, for the for the first half, you're gonna find the first quartile. So 7, 12, 8, 12, and then the 12 is in the middle. That's your first quartile, the median. And then using um, numbers for the second half. So 14 and 20, 15, 17, 16 would be your third quartile, okay? All right, so when you're counting um, your first half and your second half for your first and third quartile, you're not counting the median, okay? You're not counting the original quartile, the second quartile, okay? So the first quartile is the median for the first half. Second quartile is the median of the median. And the uh, third quartile is the median of the second half, okay? So convince me, how is the distribution of Helen's data this year different from Helen's data last year? Draw a box plot of last year's data and use it to support your answer. Okay, so this is the data last year. And then I think this is the data for this year, right? Yeah, caught this year. So we're comparing the data here versus the data here. Let's draw a box plot for the last year's data. Minimum is at seven, right? And then maximum is at 22. And then the first quartile, 12. That's when your box starts. Uh, and then the median, the second quartile is 13. And then your third quartile is 16. So your box should be using those three points in the middle. And then median is right here. And then use a ruler to be more exact, but minimum and maximum should be just connected to the box. Okay, that should be our box plot for the fish um, she caught last year. And comparing the, the box plot for last year and this year, what do you notice? Well, you notice minimum, maximum are the same, right? But median, and median is still 13. But first and third quartile are different. So that's the only thing that you can um, you can really see using the uh, important points. And then the box might be shorter for last year, but then it might be longer this year. Okay. So whatever you observe, you're gonna write it down. 
first and third quartiles are different. Um, 15 minus 10, that's five. And then that's 16 minus 12, so that's four. So it's actually, yeah, the box is shorter for last year. The box shorter last this year. Okay. Right example two, make a box plot when the number of values is given. The Earth Club collected enough donations online to build compost bins. How can the club record uh, record the donation information in a box plot? So in this type of situation, it is very helpful to use a box plot. Um, whenever you're analyzing a da data set, you will find box plot helpful because it visually represents the data by dividing into four equal parts. And then you can visually see, oh, um, the most of the data sets are gonna be here. And then we got minimum and maximum, right? So a data table does not visually show the division of data, but the box plot does. So we're gonna convert, we're gonna use the data table to draw a box plot. Okay, so step one, you're gonna find the minimum, me medium, maximum values, as well as the first and third quartiles. You need to list the values from least to greatest. So 10, there's 60. And then there are 12 values. So the median should be the average of the two middle numbers, which is 25 and 35. And so 25 plus 35 divided by two is 30. Okay, that's your median. And obviously minimum is 10, maximum is 60. And then using, um, since your median is 30, you could use 25 for the first quartile. Okay, so 10, 25, 15, 25, 15, 25. So again, we got two numbers for the first quartile. So you're gonna av make an average again. Average of 15 and 25 should be 20, okay? So um, in the same way for the maximum, for the third quartile, you're gonna count 35, 60, 45, 50. So 45 and 50 are your two middle numbers. So you will need to figure out the average between those two middle numbers again. And those are your median, okay? So medians, um, first quartile 20, median 30, and third quartile 47.5 are not even part of your data. Like it's not listed as a part of your data, but they're, they're still your median. Those are your middle numbers, okay? Step two, you're gonna draw a box plot. Minimum, maximum should still be the same. First quartile is 20, median is 30, third quartile is 47.5, and then you draw a box using those three points and then put a whisker for the minimum and maximum, okay? Those are the steps to, um, to drawing the box plot. And example three, interpreting box plot. What about after that? After you draw a box plot, what do you do with it? Like, how do you use it? You're gonna interpret it using it. So you need to know how to read the box plot, okay? So the box plot shows the distributing of the weights and pounds of bags of donated clothing over here. What information do you know from the box plot? You don't have a data set, but you see a box plot, okay? What do you know? How can you read it? You can first tell all the important points, right? So that represents, eight represents the minimum value, 20 represents the maximum value. What is the median for the whole data? This is median. And this is your first quartile. And this is your third quartile. So the minimum is eight. So the lightest bag weighs eight pounds. Maximum is 20. So the heaviest bag weighs 20 pounds. And then the median weight for the bags, all the bags is about 17 pounds. It could be like 17.1, but you can say about 17 pounds if it's not it doesn't look like it's an exact number, okay? The first quartile weight is 12 pounds and the third quartile weight is 18 pounds. So 
So those are the important information that you can derive from your box plot. All right, so look at try question. The ages of 12 volunteers part participating in a beach cleanup are shown. These are the data. You're gonna record the ages in a box plot, okay? So see if you can draw the box plot by yourself. Look at example two for the steps, okay? And come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So um, this data is not listed in order. So you're gonna change this to a list of data from least to greatest, right? So we have nine, 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 three nines, right? And then what's after that? We got 15, one, two, three, 15. And then what's next? 21, one, two, three, four, 21. And then 24, and then 27, right? So that's your minimum, nine is your minimum, 27 is your maximum. And then median, 924, 921, and 1521, 1521, 15 and 21. Those are your two numbers, middle numbers. So the average median should be, okay, I'm going to save this uh, space for box plot. So median is the average of those two numbers which is going to be 18, right? And then um, you're going to look at the first quartile and say, OK, uh, my first quartile is the average between 9 and 15. And that's going to be um, 12. And then your second quartile is going to be between 21. So your third quartile is basically just 21. Okay. So then um, 12 and then 21. So then you're going to put it in a number line, right? So from 9 to 27. So let's say from 5, 10, 15, 20. Wait, is that 2? Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now we can put a longer line. Thirty. Okay. And then so nine should be about here. And then twenty-seven could be twenty-seven could be here. And then your first quartile is two, three, four, five, um, 12. Median is 18, 16, 17, 18 over here. And the third quartile, 21, two, three, four, 21 is right here, okay? And then you're gonna draw the box using those points and then whisk it. All right, so that should be your box plot for this um, question. All right. So let's summarize our lesson. A box plot shows a distribution of data values on a number line. A box plot visually represents a data set divided into four equal parts. So in order to draw a box plot, you first need to figure out the minimum, the maximum, the first quartile, median, and the third quartile, okay? So the quartiles will divide data into quarters or equal groups. The median is also the second quartile, okay? That's why, that's why we just have first and third quartile. We skip to the third. All right, that was lesson 8-3, displaying data in box plots. In the next lesson, 8-4, we're gonna display data in frequency tabs and his, histograms, okay? 
tables and histograms. So if you have any more questions about the lesson, feel free to ask Ms. King in class. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.